Hey, up next on the Mar Army Rock Show, we've got an, yet another great band out of Sweden. The Swedes keep coming to the Mar Army Rock Show in full force. And tonight joining us, we have Fates Right. They have a 2015 album out called Smile Guys. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm thrilled to have you guys. Now, give us a brief history of the formation of the band. How long have you been around, and how did you guys get together? Well, uh, we started out in 2013. Me and my brother Marco, we quit another band, and then we joined with Jonas, our drummer, and started writing songs. And then uh, Johnny Lindquist joined in for song, vocals. And uh, then we got uh, Jonas, brother, little brother, on uh, lead guitar. So that's that's the <laughs> short story. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't help but notice that you and your brother look remarkably alike. Yeah. <laughs> we are not twins. No. <laughs> Somebody could mistake you for that. Now, um, just to introduce people to where you are actually from, I looked up your town. Is it pronounced Yumia? Umeo. Umeo. Now, you guys are way up north. Tell people a little bit about uh, your hometown there. Little town here. We have uh, 110,000 inhabitants. Yeah. Uh, we got a university. Live by, uh, the town is by a river. Great town. Really great town. Yeah. The pictures look. The pictures look beautiful. Now you're kind of um. You're pretty far north though. In, in as far as Sweden goes, is that correct? Yes. yes. So, what's the weather like there today? Rainy. <laughs> the, the global warming has fixed the weather. <laughs> Usually, we have snow right now, but uh, it's raining. It's uh, hot. hot. <laughs> Say hot. Yeah. No, no. no. It's a very bad weather now, uh, but uh, usually it's uh, minus 10, 10 degrees. Oh my gosh. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about the new P- the EP. The EP is out. It's called yep. Smile. It's been getting great reviews all over the globe. So tell us a little bit about where you recorded this album and who produced it. Well, we recorded it at uh, Garage Land Records here in Umeå with a guy called Donny. Bjornstrom, and uh, he is a great producer and, yeah. and musical yeah. guitarist. He had played in several bands. Uh, uh, the last band he played in was Aeon. Yeah, and they, they have been touring in U- in US. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> he's a death metal guy. Yeah, that's a little different style than you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, um, right. hey, uh, let, let's talk about a couple of the songs that are on the record. There, there's like some kind of aggressive tunes on the album, as far as especially the lyrics go. So, is the name "Smile" sarcastic? <laughs> well, yeah, a little bit, a little bit, or more like reality. <laughs> <laughs> So tell us about that. Where, where does the um, aggression come from? Is it just because of the style of music, or is that something that is uh, driving the music? We're old geezers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's mo- mostly about life, actually. The, the lyrics, Some things that hap- has happened, or like that. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. So um, let's talk about the style of your music. In a lot of ways, you remind me of like what I, what I see at least here in the states—a big resurgence in like an '80s style metal that's taken off again here. When I hear the guitar work in your uh, album, especially like um, "My World Is Falling," is that genre where you guys have your roots? Is it '80s rock, or where do your roots come from? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. It's it's definitely from the '80s. I'm from kind of seventies too, but yeah. mostly eighties. The, the sound, the sound is harder now, but <laughs> harder than now. But yeah. So, so who, we all are the same age, and uh, we like the same music, Rainbow and stuff like that. Mm. So uh, yeah. yeah. It's pro- it's we can't do anything else. <laughs> we can't do anything else. <laughs> we don't know how to do it. 
Now, is that kind of music um, resurging again in Sweden? I hear I hear different things when I talk to Swedish bands. Some say the scene's really taken off, and some say no, they got to go to the UK and places like that for this genre. What's your take on it? Both uh, in Sweden we still uh, our uh, the Gothenburg sound death metal thing is uh, the biggest, but uh, some uh, classic stuff and. Uh, Sleaze and stuff like that are, are growing. I think this uh, type of music, uh, I think people want this type of music. Yeah. I know here in the it's States, no it, it, yeah, here in the States has taken off quite a bit, and you've got the Monsters of Rock cruise over here now and a bunch of 80s festivals. And um, Do you have an 80s kind of festival over there? I know you have Sweden Rock Fest. Is there a strictly an 80s kind of festival in Sweden anywhere? Uh, no, no, uh, strictly uh, 80s, but uh, Swing Rock uh, has the whole spectra. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's the, the biggest and best. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping to get over to that one of these days. So, um, have you chosen a song for a music video yet off of Smile? Or maybe you're not even thinking of, but, and if so, which one would you do? We have talked about the video. But uh, we haven't decided yet which song we should play. Smile is a, smile is a good song, actually. Yeah. But My uh, World is Falling is maybe the more the strongest song you know, yeah. all around, but uh, we don't know yet. I was thinking of you guys. I, I look when I looked up your your hometown, Umio. I I looked at a lot of pictures of it, and I thought you could do a pretty cool video with smile there. I even saw a statue with a smile on it, like in your town, <laughs> town there. We, we probably use it. <laughs> yeah. So, are you guys playing live gigs yet? I know you're experienced musicians, but as a band, you're you're not that. Ex you know, you're kind of new. Still, are you playing any gigs yet? No, not that. Not uh, not yet. We're putting together more songs, so we got a full live set. Uh, right now, we need, we need a couple of more songs. Nine songs uh, is too, it's too, it's too, <laughs> too little too, for an old set. Too short. Now, now, do you guys do any cover tunes at all since, since you've been playing? I know it's all original stuff on Smile. Do you guys as a band practice any covers at all? No, no, no. covers. No covers at all. Only original songs. Now, are you all local from uh, the same place? Do you, do you all live in the same town, or are you one of those bands that has to travel to get together to, the, to rehearse and whatnot? No, we all live in uh, Umeå. Yeah. So, being from Umeå, where would you guys like to tour the most? Like, where do you think your band would hit the biggest out on tour? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to say, but uh, this kind of musical stuff, uh, UK... Germany is the easiest, it's a pretty close also, but uh, uh, maybe yeah. Finland. Finland. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe. It doesn't surprise me to hear you say the UK and Germany, because I hear a lot of Swedish bands that we've had on the show mention that, that it's good for your style of music, those are good markets right now. Yeah, so. yeah I would love to go to the uh, US, but uh, it's a... Uh, a bigger uh, deal to make it and uh, no. yeah I'm always surprised at the difficulty Swedish bands have getting over here with visas and whatnot. I don't know why they make it so hard for you all to travel over to our country but I wish they'd quit it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> me too so uh, what's the band going to do to kick off 2016 what are you guys going to be doing to celebrate the new year yeah man <laughs> just <laughs> Planning more songs. We going to the studio some uh, after the new New Year. Yeah, yeah. January, into the studio. Yeah. Yeah. So is is New Year's Eve a big deal in Sweden like it is here in the U.S.? Is yeah. it, is yeah, it a big yeah, party yeah. night? It's a, it's a big deal. It's a real party night. Yeah, party night. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you guys gonna? Would you like to be? Would you rather be playing a gig or would you rather just be having a good time on New Year's? Yeah. New Year's, sure, gig. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be great, but uh, not this year. Not this year. <laughs> so, what are your goals for the band for 2016? What are your hopes next year for the band a year from now? We're, we're, 
we're writing new songs and uh, we're putting a new EP together and uh, hopefully we're putting up in uh, out some live gigs in in springtime yeah hopefully and we uh, maybe do a, a a full album yeah on vinyl on vinyl well, we wish you the best of luck with that. Now, where is the best place for people to go to find your music and to hear more from Fates Right? All of our songs are out on uh, Spotify, uh, iTunes, Amazon, uh, but uh, only digital uh, for right now. YouTube. Check it out on YouTube. So go to, and I found you on iTunes. So uh, get out there and check out the new album. It's called Smile from the band Fates, right? And I, I've had a good time talking to you guys. I really appreciate you being here on the rock show. And uh, when your full album comes out, I'd like to have you back on. And, and we're going to keep playing some music from you guys. So uh, thanks so much for being here on the show tonight. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.